everything to do with emotion. Hi. Okay. I'm Gino Vandenberg and I've been working in the game industry since 40 years now. And I've seen a lot of companies go bust. I've seen also seen new markets uh, rise. So I've uh, been working in serious gaming, building uh, medical skills trainers. Um, but I'm not here to talk about me. I want to talk about uh, Mystic Game Development and their product, Emotion FX. Emotion FX is a real-time animation system uh, that incorporates a powerful uh, runtime engine, uh, and a content pipeline that supports all of the current content creation suits, and a tool set for artists and animators. And uh, right now they are preparing their next big release, which is Emotion FX 4, which will uh, feature uh, well, all the, th all the things you would expect in a modern animation system, like uh, motion compression, uh, inverse kinematics, um, and a really powerful tool set for artists. So, uh, artists will be very happy with this stuff, so please check them out. Uh, not, if you, not a lot of people know Mr. Game Jones, I want to change that, so uh, keep that in mind, emotion effects for your animations. From next to Kimberly Koo, who are Spill Games, and they got more than 180 million active users a month. Hey, I was going to download them. Uh, uh, well, save uh, you five seconds. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Okay. So, good morning, everybody. I'm Kimberly, and I'm a game marketer for Spill Games. Uh, Spill Games has a global online platform which serves around 180 million unique users every month. So, not year, month. Uh, we create our own content in our studio, but we also license content from talented third-party developers. Uh, mainly, I do the content for girl games, and I'm focusing on HTML5 games, which gives a user cross-platform experience because we focus on tablet, mobile, but we also want the user to play these HTML5 games on the web. For me, working with these developers is really great because we, when you work with developers and you work with them a lot, they really get understanding of what type of games you need, and they really create the most fantastic games ever. Um, in the US right now, to meet new, new developers, of course, and I also have a few meetings. And uh, yeah, I would love to know you, get to know you people as well, of course. Uh, if you want to know more about Spill Games or me, just come talk to me. Don't hesitate to do so. Uh, yeah, thank you for your attention. <laughs> <laughs> You gave her more time. I see your evil game. Yeah, I can see those things. Yo, I keep it alive. Anyway, next up is uh, the first first appearance. Menno Dane with Lap and Yip 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 Games. Yippity Yip. Menno, you want a mic? Uh, make strange sounds, maybe? No? I can't. I can't do, no, you, you guys can't go make strange sounds. Hi, I'm Menno Dane. I'm here to present my game. Um, I'm from Lab. We make great apps to make bring more uh, advice DX back on my lap, like last year. Uh, we made a game this year, and I want to play this game with you guys. So please put your hands on your lap, like this, and imagine you're a huge elephant, right? Welcome to the lab. Oh, it's amazing, right? And look at that. There's a huge bunk of cheese in your way. Oh my God! But I don't like cheese. What kind of animal does like cheese? Uh, right. Uh, please say mouse. mouse. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of movement does a mouse make? Like this one. And we're done. So basically we brought this small child game back to the iPad. Uh, we use gestures to transform in different animals and this got buttons. This got rocked. And we, uh, we, we added um, uh, a Sokoban Sheku uh, Chucha Rocket personal game to it for the parents. So that's it. Uh, we're looking for investors and publishers, so please come to us and bring us to the next level. <laughs> well, we stay in the animals. Peter Dijkstra from Vogelsap. That's the flock game. It's got suspense and you can get burned. Yes. All right, so uh, I'm Peter Dijkstra. I'm one of the developers and the business guy at Vogelsap. We're a bunch of students. Um, and I'm going to tell you something about the flock. So the flock is a competitive multiplayer game. Uh, where you can play as one of the monsters that makes up one of the flock. Uh, you have to compete against the other flock in order to find the uh, artifact of light. Um, and the first player who finds the artifact of light transforms into the carrier. And the carrier is a smaller, more human-like and vulnerable being. Uh, the carrier needs to hold on to the light artifact for as long as possible in order to win the game. However, he also needs to protect itself by using the light uh, against the uh, game flock who need the 
who also want the light artifact. Um, the flock are vulnerable to the light, but their key is to survive us and completely still, otherwise they will die. Um, so this will create for a tense and atmospheric multiplayer experience between two different beings. Um, we're looking for feedback on the game and um, help to bring to extra platforms. Thanks very much. En David Nieborg, niet namens hun respectieve firma's, in een duo-presentatie, denk ik, aan tap dansen, zingen, een beetje op de tutus. Uh, is there there, of course. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Cheers, slackers. <laughs> Actually, they are representing the NRC Handelsblad. Those people mostly are, you know, bad wakey wakey guys. So their magazine, our uh, daily paper, right, they want you to come to them, they said. So please do tell them I'm very, very, very aggravated by this, and I'm going to bed now. Okay. No, I'm a professional. I move on. So that means more time for somebody else, right? So we got over here right now ah an old timer of New Zoo, Peter Warman. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The booklet is there already. Somewhere, <laughs> somehow. Hi, Peter. Well, My name. Oh yeah, sure. My name is Peter Warman. I head up a company called New Zoo, and five years ago I arrived here for the first time at GDC. And we wanted to be a market research and analytics company. And now we are a market research and analytics company. <laughs> we wanted to work with EA. And now we actually work with EA. More than five teams at EA continuously. We work for King, for Valve, Coca-Cola, California. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Looking back, what happened in between, a key moment was arriving here for the first time, shaking. Very young, 36 years old. <laughs> Peter, Peter putting me down, he said, we're going to practice your you pitch. That, boy. He treated me like a little boy and made me repeat the pitch about 20 times. And I realized I'm, I'm sort of reborn, you know. Same um, barbershop. When I look at, we have one very important thing in common. We have one very important thing in common. Our name. Uh, our name. <laughs> and screw St. Patrick's Day. Today is St. Peter's Day, because it's the last time that Peter's going to host this, so give him a big round of applause. Oh. Well, maybe they hire me next year, you never know. Yeah. It'll be more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Toon, Westerland, from South Bay Miracle, they're creating games and mobile and app and web and do I know what. <laughs> Well, I'm Tanner from South Bay Miracle, and we create web and all kinds of stuff, like he just said. <laughs> uh, we're currently working on our first title, we started in September, it's called Panarium. And Panarium is about this little boy, he's not very sure of himself, and he goes to the circus for the very first time in his life. He's really excited, but he gets in the wrong line, so he's not in the audience, he's a contestant in the circus. And it's not an ordinary circus, it's a death trap circus. So he gets shot by uh, lasers and rockets and fire and water, and it's really sad. And he has to run for his life. And that's what you as a player do. You run for your life, you run for your life, you run for your life. And you have to get collectibles. And the more collectibles you get, the better you are. So it's a high score game. And you just have to survive. And it's crazy. It's this crazy circus and you just die and die and die in the most gruesome ways. And there's blood and more blood and more blood. And more. Well, that's kind of the premise. So we're looking for people who want to play the game. And, well, that's, that's it. <laughs> You guys are doing great. Within the time, I'm so proud of you guys. Yeah. Really. I'm like a father. <laughs> Crying out loud. So, Menno Dane, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. No more mice, no more elephants. Where's Menno? Wait, come here, come over here. He's got, this is a serious thing about four diversity games. Oh, yeah, darling. Right? This is like the most, most, Hurry most, up most, now. most. Honestly, this is the most important thing you've ever seen. I know, ever. I know. You know? I give you a minute, I give you a minute and a half because it's you. Oh, thank you. You're so, a darling. Peter. So give, give him 30 seconds and then, and then the yellow card after a minute, right? Otherwise, he goes, take two minutes, I know him by now. Oh, you do? <laughs> so let's get about mental Don't you think he's funny? He's hilarious, you know? Okay. So basically, this is how gay people are sort of represented, uh, represented in the game industry. I'm not, that's not true. In popular culture, at least according to last year's GDC talks, they really raged about uh, gender representations in games and the inclusion of LGBT aspects. Um, I got a bit concerned about this stuff, so um, to give a more positive feedback and more co constructive voice to this um, uh, <coughs> debate, I um, organized that.
Okay, for the first gem. Oh, it's me again. Um, so uh, last two weeks ago, we uh, jammed with 60 people in Europe, which was a great achievement and it was really cool. Uh, now we're doing the same in uh, um, San Francisco, and we're actually looking for housing. <laughs> it's kind of weird because uh, we sort of lost our uh, accommodation somehow. So uh, please help me out. Um, and we're looking for sponsorship for the next Cage for Diversity Jam based on Carol Millenaar. Oh no, on um, ethnic minorities. So um, uh, this will happen in the Netherlands too, and we're trying to get this to USA as well. And uh, that's a bit hard, so please uh, help me out here. Uh, either sponsor this great event or uh, host it somewhere during GDC. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is a great cause, and uh, maybe if there are volunteers in the consulate for this coming weekend, you'll never know, Menno. Maybe they want to you know, give their weekend to you and to your organization. So, this is the official end of this beautiful timing, and if there's questions, or if you want coffee, you just brewed new coffee that was only decaf.